Recently, a substance by the name of Adrenochrome has been rapidly circulating the online world. For those of you who don't know, the online conspiracy QAnon, a movement based entirely on the unverified words of an anonymous entity Q, has a bone to pick with this compound. Q claims it's a psychedelic drug filtered out of blood drained from children that have been tortured and terrorized in order to throw their adrenal glands into overdrive. They say it's only good when it comes from a living human source. Apparently, billionaires take this stuff and inject it into their eyeballs. Yummy. Even though something from an unconfirmed, controversial source is to be taken with a grain of salt, this does raise a lot of questions. What is adrenochrome? Does it actually come from scarred human babies? And most importantly, why wasn't I invited to the deep state adrenaline harvesting eyeball injection party with the Clintons? The water is murky with misinformation and the supposed blood of theoretical tortured children, and I crave the truth. Adrenochrome has been featured in pop culture numerous times, but experiential information about this psychoactive substance remains strangely elusive. The only reason I think this drug is real as of now is because there's a Wikipedia article that says it affects the mind, and scientists once claimed that it was the cause of schizophrenia. If there is a drug with notable psychoactive effects, chances are someone somewhere will compare it with schizophrenia. Let's start with what we know about adrenochrome. We know it's a psychoactive substance that can be synthesized from chemicals in the mammal adrenal glands. Some unconfirmed theories say only human adrenal glands can produce adrenochrome that elicits psychoactive effects, but the scientific school of thought says it can come from any animal with an adrenal gland. We know that it will quickly oxidize and become ineffective when exposed to air, light, humidity, and heat and that it needs to be kept in an airtight container in the freezer. We know that Aldous Huxley once theorized that it would be similar to mescaline in his texts Doors of Perception, but he never tried it himself. And we know that it was featured in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and it was probably the inspiration for Drenchrom, the drug inside the milk in Clockwork Orange. Using this information as a guideline, I looked on Arrowwood to see if any bedroom psychonauts had anything to report. While the search didn't come up empty, it certainly wasn't fruitful. One man describes it like MDMA combined with mushrooms, but his story seems too suspicious to be reliable, seeing as his friend just found one of the most mystery-shrouded drugs in the world in his father's fucking toolbox. Another one I found was just an idiot smooth brain who stabbed himself with an EpiPen and said he didn't like it. So I'm gonna throw that into the digital attention whore pile along with that fuck who just hippie flipped in his friend's dad's tool shed. Neither of these were adrenochrome. I do not appreciate my time being wasted. Finally, I happen across someone with information that looks like it could be true. This by no means means it's authentic, but at the very least, the writer seems to have a basic knowledge of chemistry, and the information contained isn't completely different from other online sources. This person used the crystallized form of free base adrenochrome on three separate occasions. He ate it, snorted it, and vaporized it out of a crack pipe. Each time, he reported the exact same effects. Sedation, a numbness in his hands and head, and a short-lived euphoria. He said that while it slightly changed his vision, it in no way had any psychedelic or hallucinatory effects. These are the only reports I could find as far as Arrowwood goes. One factually accurate person does not a sample size make. While I am huge fans of both Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and Clockwork Orange, Gonzo's Bottle and Drenchrom Spiked Milk are not scientifically verifiable sources, so the true nature of this substance is still largely a mystery. Looking online, we see that adrenochrome is unscheduled in the United States, and it's sometimes sold for lab usage. The only sources I could find selling adrenochrome that weren't completely obvious scams or trying to sell me a t-shirt with the word on it was selling a small amount for a stack of cash. These are from animals or synthetic sources, so according to Q, it will not work. But for one reason or another, these labs were not able to procure children in the grips of extreme fear. Scientifically, it should do the same thing. Why am I doing this again? <laughs> I know this might come as a surprise to some of you, but I'm not the cool billionaire child blood eye injecting kind of cult leader. For now, I have no interest in dropping blue faces on this stupid and possibly dangerous bullshit. And my so-called friends were unwilling to give up their adrenal glands for my YouTube video, but maybe I'll come back when I get a Patreon. I'm not satisfied yet though. If there's an exclusive new party drug all the cool cults are doing, I'm sure as hell not letting my pupils be left out of it. To get more information, I decided to visit at a local nootropics and herbal supplement store, but the person running the counter told me no one had ever asked him about that, and he believed the substance to be entirely fake. It seems for now we have hit a dead end. Do I believe it's possible that it's way more powerful as a drug and pedophile billionaires are injecting it under their eyeballs? Yes, I believe it's possible. Anything's possible. At the same time, I don't see why only the most affluent and powerful people in society could torture somebody and extract their adrenal glands. They say the best things in life are free.
free, and unfortunately, that also applies to pain and suffering. It doesn't cost a dime to inflict it. If this was truly a very powerful drug created from sadistic torture parties, there would be way more information on it. Adrenochrome is probably like the only trip report we found that was worth a damn, and the media probably hyped it up and gave it effects that it never had in the first place. With that, I think we can call this case closed. If you like whatever the fuck this was, sub and drop a like. Before I'm responsible for something I don't wanna be, I gotta say, don't do Adrenochrome. There's also a giveaway active for an AZFK mask. If you wanna enter, you must either be 18 or have parents' permission, must be subscribed to AZFK, and comment AZFK for President 2020 on this video. As always, like, sub, and hit the bell, and I will see you all in hell. Okay, bye.